Unraveling English Homophones and Homonyms, Mnemonic Magic. Hello and welcome everyone. Today, we're going to explore a really useful and fun way to help us remember how to use homophones and homonyms correctly. We'll use something called mnemonic devices. Let's dive right into it. Just to refresh our memories, homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings and may have different spellings. For example, right and right. Homonyms, on the other hand, are words that have the same spelling and the same pronunciation but have different meanings. For instance, bat could mean an animal or a piece of sports equipment. Remembering the correct usage can be tricky. But here's where mnemonic devices come into play. Mnemonic devices are techniques or tools that help us remember information. They can be particularly useful for language learning, especially when it comes to remembering the correct usage of homophones and homonyms. Mnemonics can be in the form of acronyms, visual images, rhymes, or phrases. Now, let's learn how to create our own mnemonic devices. Here are a few strategies. Strategy 1. Visual Imagery. Try to create a mental image that links the words with their meanings. For example, to remember the difference between bear, the animal, and bear, to uncover. You could visualize a bear covering itself with a giant leaf, trying not to be bear. Strategy 2. Rhymes and Phrases. Create a catchy rhyme or phrase. For instance, to differentiate flower, the plant, and flower used in baking, you might come up with flowers in the garden grow, flower in the kitchen goes. Strategy 3. Acronyms. Although less common for homophones and homonyms, acronyms can sometimes help. For instance, I, the self, and I, the organ, could use I, myself, have an I. Remember, the key is to create something memorable and tied to the meaning. As with everything, the more you practice creating and using mnemonic devices, the better you'll get at it. It might seem challenging at first, but over time, you'll start to find it easier and fun. Just remember to be creative and don't be afraid to make your mnemonics personal. The more they mean to you, the more likely you are to remember them. That's all for today's exploration into the world of homophones, homonyms, and mnemonic devices. Hopefully, these tips and tricks will make your English learning journey a bit easier and more fun. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video. Remember, in English, as in any language, practice and creativity can open the doors to great mastery. Happy learning!